Hello guys, tonight it's Brentford versus Manchester United and uh, yeah, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to Match Day Live and it's me Dan back again and tonight it's Manchester United versus Brentford at the Brentford Community Stadium and it's a new stadium that's been added to FIFA recently um, with the new recent update which is nice to see. Um, anyway, the team I've gone for, I reckon it will be changes into the team, I reckon Ronaldo will be back for this one, I hopefully he should be back for this one because he, you know, they said that he would be back for the Aston Villa game and he wasn't. Um, but I think he will be back for this one, and then I reckon Sancho will be back in as well in instead of Alanga, even though Alanga did really well. Um, and obviously Bruno Fernandez, I expect he'll be in, and obviously Greenwood, um, Fred and McTominay, I reckon they'll be back in, and I reckon Luke Shaw, Varane, and Lindelof and Delo will play. Uh, there could there is. There could be a possibility that could see Wan Bissaka in there as as well, um, because obviously, actually, yeah, I reckon Wan Bissaka will start because um, you know, he didn't play in the last game, did he? And I reckon, I actually reckon it will be Varane and Lindelof again. I think, I don't think Maguire will be in this uh, first team eleven um, this uh, tonight. I'll be very surprised if he is. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the team I've gone for. Um, so let's get into it and let's play a match. And let's talk about the last uh, result, which was against uh, Aston Villa. And we drew 2-2, even though we should have won. <laughs> um, we was 2 new up and we effed it up, pretty much. Um, yeah, it, it was, you know, it was looking like a good, easy win uh, for United. Um, we, you know, we capitalised on the Aston Villa mistakes. And we, we do you know what? We played... Um, I agree with uh, Ralph Ranić. What Ralph Ranić has said, he's you know it's been one of the best games since he played. You know since they, um, you know since he he's been there. And I do agree. Like the first couple, like forty minutes, we were playing really well, and then second half we didn't really get going. Um, and obviously, that you know we um, for about seventy minutes, I'd say we were playing okay, um, and then obviously, um, you know. We uh, gave away two goals. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the first half. Um, let's talk about the only thing to start off with is obviously the goal. We got an early goal um, through Bruno Fernandes. It's a, well, to be honest, it's a goalkeeper mistake, really. Um, and they've scored as well. Yeah, it's a goalkeeper mistake. It's just from a free kick. Uh, Tellez just over here, you know, you know uh, takes it. Well, he doesn't take it. He just back heels it back to... Um, Back to uh, Fernandez, and then Fernandez has a, it's not a, the best of shots anyway. It just bounces right in front of Martinez. Um, I know Cavani was there as well um, to you know to uh, you know try and score. Uh, well, no, you know to try and put the goalkeeper off, and uh, Cavani wasn't offside. It's just uh, rumbled into the you know uh, Martinez is arms, and it just bounces through his legs. Um, it's a goalkeeper's mistake, but we, you know we'll take them goalkeeper mistakes. And that was that was um, that was um, yeah that was one nil. And we was looking all right actually. We was looking to you know I think we surprised Aston Villa how we started, and um, we was unlucky not to go two nil um, with a free kick. I think it was Greenwood with the free kick, and he uh, Martinez made a save. Um, but then, literally, like the first thirty minutes were all dominant against Aston Villa. We hard let them hardly have the ball. You know, they were, you know, they were failing to attack, and we were, you know, we were pressing as well. Well, we was, you know, we weren't pressing, but we was doing like controlled pres uh, pressing, which was nice to see. And um, we did uh, almost, like I said, we almost did score a goal. But then also they uh, kind of came into it at the, like right at the end of the first half. Uh, Buendia had a header um, saved from um, from De Gea, and obviously um, it was unlucky um, not to, he was unlucky not to score to be honest. Um, but you know, hey ho, that's what happens really. So. You know, anything, you know, a good save from De Gea. Um, so, we, yeah, we went into half-time winning 1-0. And there's the equaliser, Ronaldo. Um, yeah, we, we, you know, we went into half-time winning 1-0. Um, we had a couple, you know, 
they had a couple of chances at Villa right at the end of the first half. I think Adinyi, um had a shot from a cross where, you know, he was just out of the back post, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, that was one. Uh, that was the first half. Second half, we, you know, we controlled the, you know, we controlled, we defended... You know, we we were defending against Aston Villa because obviously Aston Villa were coming out to get that equaliser. Um, but you know, we controlled it. I think it was a control defending. You know, we let them. You know, we let them have the ball. You know, we calmed them down. You know, our, you know, we had that little bit. You know, where Aston Villa had the wave after wave of attack, and we can. You know, we we got out of there. Um, you know, without a goal, and uh, we did get the second goal through a you know high press again. Uh, we just get that a ball from Fred, um, mistake from Aston Villa, and then in the end, um, he, Fred put it on a plate for Bruno Fernandez, and it's a smashing shot. And uh, it's nice to see Bruno Fernandez get two goals again. He, he, I think he needed a couple goals as well to rejuvenate his um, his confidence, but obviously. Uh, at the end of the match, he uh, didn't really like the scoreline. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, from the first 70 minutes, we were okay. And then after that, we were just unfortunate in the end. Um, what a ball that was, by the way, to Bruno Fernandes. Um, yeah, we're just unfortunate. Um, they get a first goal. It was a good goal. Um, if I think it was Jacob Ramsey. Uh, I think Fred... Just touched it, um, you know, tried to get the ball. He just touched it, poked it towards Jacob Ramsey. And it was going to be a good goal anyway um, from Aston Villa. Good, you know, link-up team goal. Um, but, yeah, it was Fred with that last touch. It was just unfortunate. And he just landed it f to Ramsey. And then, um, you know, uh, David De Gea couldn't really save it. And then, literally... The, another goal come in the space of another, what, five minutes. Um, again, just bad defending. You know, I think it was Matic who went towards the ball. He, you know, um, didn't really help the de defence there. And um, they just got in from that. And, uh, of course, it's that guy, Coutinho, right at the back post where, you know, Varane just fell asleep as well. I, I think, you know, once we got that second goal, we pretty much, um, you know, we pretty much you know, lost it from there. Um, we switched off once we scored that second goal. And uh, once they got that second goal, to be honest, they, we didn't have any chance after that, and nor did they. They kind of played for the draw. And to be honest, you know, I'm, I, you know I, would have been, I would have been happy if we won 2-1 or something like that. But, to you know, we was 2-0 up, looking like it was going to be a Man United victory. You know, we scored that second goal late on. Um you know, to down the spirits of Aston Villa. But, you know, credit to Aston Villa because they kept going and, you know, they saw a goal coming and that's where United need to learn how to, you know, kill games off. And we haven't done that for a while. Um, so that's the next thing that we have to do. You know, we took our chances against Aston Villa, but we just need to, you know, make sure we keep clean sheet or at least make sure we win the, uh, win the game. And we can't do that against these teams. Especially like Aston Villa, but anyway, tonight we do have um, we do have Leicester. We do have Leicester. We do have uh, Brentford at Brentford, and it's going to be a massive game. First um, Man United Brentford game since 1947. I saw um, earlier, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a big game for Brentford, and they're going to be up for it. And you know, Brentford they always they always are a good um, they you know they. They're looking like um, a really good team uh, this, the, you know, this season. So, you know, it will be a very hard game for United. And we need to be, you know, we need to get the goal. If we can get a goal early and we need to control the game and, you know, try and nick the victory, then I think that's what we need to do tonight. But um, obviously it will be hard because it is Brentford and Brentford just keep going. Uh, all the time, pretty much. And um, how did we not score there? Um, yeah, they, they they just keep they just keep running. You know, they will keep attacking uh, for most of the game. So you know, we will be. It will be a hard game, um, but obviously it is Brentford. Brentford. I don't think. I think they lost the last game, if I'm not too mistaken. Um, I haven't got my phone out to see. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, it, it, is, it is one of them ones again where, you know, anything can happen. And, 
you know, we need a good performance and a good performance against a good side like Brentford, you know, that would kind of help us, you know, hopefully, you know, kind of springboard us on a couple of vi winning victories. But obviously I've said this before and, um, you know, anything can happen. Um, obviously, um, we do have a couple of uh, transfers as well, obviously. Um, the, the, the Martial uh, thing keeps going on. Uh, you know, we had the little scuffle with Martial and Ralph Ranić. Apparently, Ralph uh, Ralph Ranić came out and said that Martial didn't want to be in the squad, and then obviously uh, Martial came out on Sunday night with a uh, Instagram post saying that you know I didn't I did want to be in the squad, and I know it's just a miss word of communication, and you know we just you know um, if he doesn't want to be here, just let him go. Um, that's all I can say. But obviously, he's, I think they've kind of come. They kind of, they both kind of came out and said, you know, um, they've kind of, you know, made up now, which is nice to see. Oh, actually, talking of which, I tell you what, it is nice to see. Uh, Paul Pogba uh, was in training yesterday. Apparently, he won't be ready for the next two games. I think we've got Brentford and oh, who we got after Brentford. I'm not too sure who we have in, but we've got that, and obviously. Um, I think we got the international break after this game, so after the weekend's game, so it will be interesting to see. And we do have a winter break as well, don't we? In February, I'm pretty sure. Um, let me just quickly see. Uh, yeah, they lost. Um, yeah, they lost the last two games actually. They lost against Liverpool and they lost against Southampton. So um, they are on a bit of a poor run, but obviously. They will expect to be, you know, they're back at home. Um, so it will be a hard game. Uh, for It will be a hard game for United. But fingers crossed, you know, United, you know, will come out. If we can play like we did against Aston Villa for like the first 70 minutes, control the game and, you know, try and put try and put them off um, as much as possible, you know, get that goal, get, the, you know, see if we can get a couple of good goals, make them, um, make them, you know, make them mistakes, you know, force them to make them mistakes and, you know, uh, try and get onto those mistakes and score from those mistakes. But um, it's going to be interesting. Um, so score prediction, I reckon United will nick it. Do you know what? I'm going to go 2-1. I, I think, you know, Brentford will score, but I think United will uh, be, I think United will be, um, I think we'll try and get there. I think we'll nick it. I think it's going to be one of them games. It's going to be a tough game, but I think United will nick it just. It won't be a classic Man United performance, but fingers crossed, we'll be able to, you know, be we'll be able to beat them as well. Um, I didn't really talk about transfers. Um, there's not many transfers still. We haven't signed anyone. Uh, we're desperate for a centre midfielder. I know that. Um, but anyway. Guys, that is going to be it for today. Um, next, uh, like, like I said, next game, I'm not too sure who we have. I know we're playing Sunday, I think, um, or Saturday or Sunday, one of the two. Uh, let's quickly have a look. Are we playing Sunday? Uh, no, we're playing Saturday. Are we playing Saturday night? Oh, we got West Ham. We got West Ham at home. Oh, that's going to be a big game. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, so please like, comment and subscribe, and don't forget to leave your score prediction below. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.